Hello, I am Sir Rejanul Haknabil from YouTube channel Tech Mechanism. So today we are going to make a surge protector circuit which is very simple. The target of our project is the this, this project will be used to save our, our electrical device from high voltage spike or spike during lightning strike or, or any, any unusual event when voltage could ri rise uh, maybe up to 1000 volt which could be disastrous for our electrical device. So how we can protect uh, our device from this surge, which is really simple. Uh, we can make this circuit uh, below one, one USD, hopefully. So what we are gonna use is a very store and a fuse. A very store is a special uh, types of uh, elect electric uh, parts, uh, which vary is resistance based on voltage. Okay, so which is basically variable voltage dependent resistor. So, very store. So, very store is actually made from metal oxide. Um, the, this uh, very store is metal oxide very store. So, what it will do, we will use a fuse and a very store. This is our phase and this is neutral. So, when the voltage will reach uh, a certain level, um, then the very store will trigger and it will make it will short circuit itself so that if it short circuit here then the fuse will blow out okay so if the fuse is blow up then the spike will not reach to our electrical device so that our electrical device will be saved during the uh, spike so spike maybe spike during uh, power power surge or lightning during lightning okay so it could potentially save a thousand of dollar just under one dollar okay so how it will work if we can see uh, the characteristic of very store the voltage higher the voltage the lower the resistance so what is very store very store is a metal oxide uh, very store for short is a voltage dependent resistor in which the resistance material is a metallic oxide okay like uh, primarily zinc oxide pressed into a ceramic like material here we will see and the formation of junction between the zinc oxide grains okay so metal oxide resistors are now the most common type of voltage clamping device and are available for use at a wide range of voltages and currents the use of metallic oxide within their construction means the metal oxide resistors are extremely effective in absorbing short term voltage rise okay so as with the normal resistor the metal oxide resistor start conduction at a specific voltage and stop conduction when the voltage falls below a threshold voltage. So the main difference between a standard silicon varistor and, and a metal oxide varistor is that the leakage current through the metal oxide varistor's zinc oxide material is a very small current at a normal operating condition and its speed of operation is clamping transient is much faster. Faster means really fast, like uh, like 10 to 15 nanosecond. Okay, it's really fast. So if the voltage is higher than the varistor's uh, specific voltage depend depending on the model of very store the high, as quick as the voltage will rise above the threshold it it, so it will short circuit itself okay so the response time usually 10 to 15 nanosecond which is really really good so that it will short circuit here and the fuse will blow up because of high current through the fuse and so that and the whole process will happen so fast 10 to 50 25 minutes second that that our external circuit or our external device will be saved during the event so the very store symbol is like that this is very so simple and the characteristic of the very story is not ohmic okay and it is not linear it's non-linear okay so that our voltage spike like this can be detected within 10 to 15, minutes, uh, 15 nanoseconds. So the application is in the power supply, in power system, surge protection device, lightning protection, etc. Et there, there are lots of uh, actually application of the very store. So the construction of metal oxide very store is actually like that. This is the very high level diagram. Here we can see the inside of this is zinc, zinc oxide grains and in the inner part uh, is ceramic layer. Okay. and outer layer is metallic uh, electrode connected uh, with this conducting lid and this whole thing is covered by uh, epoxy okay so that uh, it looks like this this is actually a very store and here we have another very store so the model of the very store the that we are using is 10d471k 
okay so now we will see what does 10 d 471 k means here 10 d means disc diameter that means 10 millimeter and 47 is an is a, is a just nominal voltage uh, very strong volt but it is not the real voltage if you have to find its threshold voltage you have to take this number third number and third number is a multiplier so if zero no multiplier if one 10 to the power one so if we uh, multiply 47 uh, with 10 to the power 1 then we will fi find 470 volts so that this very store will blow short circuit itself if the voltage is above 470 volts so we have to keep keep that in mind if the, if uh, there was 2 then 2 equal 10 to the power 2 hmm. uh, and k is voltage tolerance okay here is 10 percent and if you want to filter its output further so that uh, like uh, electrical noise uh, if you want to uh, uh, reduce the no noise in a further level you can use a common mode choke here a common mode choke and a capacitor like this 0 0.47 microfarad and 275 volt this kind of uh, capacitor and we have here a common mode choke okay and here we have a very store unfortunately i don't have a fuse with me now so that you have to connect a fuse here so i hope you guys understand the application of very store and how we can make a search protection circuit under one dollar hope you guys like my video if you like please subscribe to my youtube channel tech mechanism thank you very much